Hey guys, a quick note to acknowledge that news about Patch 4 is coming from Larian Studios on Tuesday 17th of February, and alongside that announcement is confirmation that Patch 3 saves won't work with Patch 4 after the update. As such, there will be uploads up to Session 5, and then there will be a brief hiatus until Patch 4 comes. When it does, I'll see about replicating the early parts of this campaign behind the scenes to pick up where we left off, unless any major changes are introduced. Cheers. Hello everyone, and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3, 5th edition edition, Campaign 2, Session 3. Last time we made our way up the beach and met with several of our companions, and this time we're just going to level up to level 2, and then carry on towards the Druid's Grove and see about defending them from those goblins that we get to get the jump on this time, because we know they're going to be there. So let's start with ourselves as Cleric. So we get more spell slots. We unlock Channel Divinity to turn undead. And we get a new subclass feature. Preserve life. Action. Evoke a healing energy that restores three times one hit points to allied creatures. And that costs our Channel Divinity if we wish to use it instead of turning undead. So that's excellent to have. And we will customize our spells. Anything else we want to change here? I think I'm more likely to use Shield of Faith than Bane. And that's one down. We already did Gale last time. He managed to have just enough XP when we gained him to the party. Shadowheart also gets the Channel Divinity for Turn Undead, as well as Invoke Duplicity as her Channel Divinity. And as for spells, is there anything here we want to change? Inflict Wounds is too good not to have, and we'll take Bless. Now, Lazel may not be with the party for too long, but we will make sure she is leveled up, up to 20 hit points, and at level 2 she gets Action Surge, which lets her gain an additional action within her turn. That can obviously be used to strike as an action, or help or any other action that is available to in any given character. I took a moment to loot these bodies below and now we'll just carry on up the hill. Uh, it's just just beyond this rock. We should check it out, but be careful. Yeah, let's not all die immediately and have to start again again cuz then it would just get a little old, I think. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Sevlo's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Sevlo, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. By the nine hells, open the gates. Okay. Looks like most of us are right at the end of the initiative. Apart from surviving ourselves, 
our main goal here is to keep Will alive, because if he dies during this encounter, we can't recruit him later on if we wish to. Right, Lysel up first. Yeah, getting hard and close. Excellent work. Frontiers. There's Will. And we are all rallied, giving us eight more hit points. Now, Gale, from this high ground. Can we witch bolt anyone? Excellent. We'll try and maintain that concentration. Keep ourselves out of harm way. Or we will immediately fall asleep and not be able to do anything because you can't concentrate on a spell while you're sleeping. Question is, do we want to spend an action to get him back up when he's in relative safety where he is really, isn't he? Seven on three D sixes, three D eights. Four D sixes for seven, that's not great. We'll move down. Attracted the bugbear. At least it's not just us that miss a lot. Reckless Warcry. Strength increased by three, armor class decreased by one. We can make that work. Where's that bugbear? And Lazel is crushing it. Alright, let's action surge. Get another action. That's going to let us attack once again right here. Oh no. We're out of movement. Well, that's awkward. I have regrets. Does this goblin know magic missile? It's unexpected. Shadow heart. Good job. Lysella. Another one down. 
Maybe I should have woken Gale up. She hits like a tank, doesn't she? Is she is she equipped with a great sword? Is that why? No, just a long sword, but it's two-handed, so it's one d10. Great swords do two d6, so on average they'll hit a little bit harder. Witness the might of the blade. Hey, Gale's up. Welcome back to the party, dude. Man, that looked uncomfortable. Everyone makes their saves because that is what they do. Hey, we got one. You see a lot of comments about people who haven't played a lot of either tabletop role playing games or games where dice rolls are required to hit and you see them playing something like this and going, I never hit anything. Why don't I ever hit anything? And it's just because if the number calculations are true, this is really a 70% chance. You remember the times you miss a lot more than the times you do hit. Unless you lay out, apparently, then you just hit everything every time. All right, Will's holding his own this time. That's nice to see. Oh, you shouldn't have run. That's a rookie mistake. Ignis. Is it just the warg left? I think so. So those guys will all go inside, leaving the battlefield for us to pick clean. So to save you watching that, I'll just uh, pause the recording here and go and pick some stuff up and then show you if we got anything particularly good. Okay, so we picked the bodies over. We got some goblin weapons, the bows, the scimitars and so forth, a scroll of grease, and most importantly, gloves of power. Uncommon gloves, when equipped... Creatures hit by an attack may receive a d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. And so, who do we want to give those to? The person making the most attacks, which currently is Lazel. But Lazel's not long for the party, and so I think we're just going to equip those ourselves because we are holding the longsword in one hand, which we are occasionally attack attacking with. So we will put those on. And if Lazelle can have it, what we will give her, excuse me, Lazelle, can you equip a great axe? 1d12 slashing versus 1d10 slashing. That's two more. So, Lazelle. This is yours now. 
And this is just a standard long sword, isn't it? Which is what we are currently equipped with. But we are holding the shield for the extra AC as well. Okay, so that's the spoils of that party. So with Lazel for now, I think what we will do is go over to the east and pick through the temple. Last time we accidentally found the exit of the temple first and did the whole thing backwards. So perhaps this time we will try and do the whole things the correct orientation. Here's another ancient rune circle which we can use to teleport to camp later. No way of getting down there as we are right now. So we're just going to follow this coastal path around until we get across to the ruins. That's it. Not the temple, the ruins. So past these slowly dying tieflings. I think last time we did these ruins before that encounter, so we were a little bit stronger and more prepared for it this time round. These markers on are in uh, on the mini map rather are not currently red, so this is not inherently a combat encounter. So we'll see if these people want to have words. They don't want to have words, guys. I've just found out they don't want to have words. They just want to murder us. Okay. First things first. Wake up the wizard. And then second thing second, please stand in front of said wizard. So, one of the bonus actions here is shove, but rule number four, shove is an attack action. So if we take the shove, we will be a attack action rather than a bonus action. So if possible, I'd like to stand here and attempt to shove this guy. I'll take it. So now we cannot use any of our spells or abilities to spend for our actual in-game action because we spent our 5th edition action shoving. And so we will pass our turn there. Lazel. Get rid of those because we shouldn't have those. Good stuff. Is that everyone's actions? Yes, you used yours to get the wizard up. That guy is now nice and far away and a bit sore. Ah, there's the wizard. Gimblebot. I don't really fancy a wizard's duel right now. That's way too far out. Can we make this? Excellent. And then quietly retreat behind cover because that's how you stay alive as a wizard. Taman. Good miss. Excellent work. Oh, it's nice when things go to plan, isn't it? Right, we are injured and stood in acid, but it's just reducing our armor class by two right now, so that's not the most problematic thing we could be encountering. And so we've missed... Oh. We missed with our weapon, so now we have Bane. And we have a 1d4 penalty to our attack rolls and our saving throws. 
I assumed that would be inflicted upon our enemy, but I guess not. Lazelle, do what you do best. Murder people without mercy. So close. So very close. We cannot action surge again until we short rest, and so we'll probably take one of those before we get into this temple, I imagine. Gale, Gale, Gale. Sixty percent for that, sixty percent for this. Good, another one bites the dust. Do we want to bonus action healing word anybody? Lysella's having a pretty bad time. But we do have the other characters going first. So let's take Lysel, see if we can't beat this guy down quite heavily. Oh, so many crits. And then with Lysel. Lysella. Can't even get my own hero's name correct. We will quietly retreat. Using that extra five feet of movement we have from our racial heritage there. So. Not going to take any of the bonus actions. That guy with two hit points is not long for this world. Ignis. Told you so. Oh, the vines. Must look out for the vines. Do we have line of sight all the way up here? We do not. Uh, I guess we'll dash. don't have second wind. Oh, I think she used it when she was under AI control earlier. But she's nearly dead. Take cover there. Man, we're getting hit all over, aren't we? Do we have a better option than that? I don't really think we do. Ignis. Well, there's one hit point, but now we do have a full round of turns. So let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> We made our save. Shatterheart. Dash your way up here. Uh, 
Anyone else have actions left? Gale does not. Shadowheart does not. Does not. Does not. Good miss. Excellent miss. And once again, attack action is shove. But sometimes it will miss. Uh... Thank goodness. That was rough. Please don't anybody walk through vines as you're trying to get back to being a party. I would really appreciate that. Wonderful. Okay, we've made it to the entrance of the ruins. We'll be using uh, the ornate door over there if we can get it unlocked. Otherwise, perhaps we'll have to go in through this cracked hole in the ground. But thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying campaign two as much as you were campaign one. Please continue to let me know in the comments if you would like to see Lazel replaced by Will or Astarian down the line. Otherwise, please consider subscribing, or if you've missed past episodes, a link in the description will take you to the full playlist. Thanks very much. Cheers.